Hi, I'm Matt McCord, and welcome to U.S. Metal TV. And tonight we're going to have a... I planned this a while ago. I met all the new, young, then young, <laughs> heavy metal guys in Portland. Like Dylan Laviolette and uh, Marco Raptor and Chris Nucula and uh, the guys from Headless Pez and Necro Drunks and... Motor Throne, the, the the Super G Brothers, and now it's ten years later. So I, I was gonna, I planned on this. I wanted to shoot these guys back then, and then use it later. And now's that time. Okay, so tonight we uh, where's that place? There was some place where this gorgeous stripper and her husband owned it, and it was downtown next to a porn shop. But headless Pez. Necro Drunks and Cemetery Less played there, and uh, all these guys were there, so I took my camera down and shot them. Now, they, we, uh, we move a little fast forward. Almost all these guys are grown up, and they have kids or married. Uh, Dylan has a record company called Headsplate Records. And, man, he's got a, wow, there's a big catalog. And Chris Nucula became a promoter and did some great shows. And uh, I just want to show them and you, Portland, Portland! And this is either going to be Headless Pez, Necro Drunks, or Cemetery Lust uh, from the Tiger Bar downtown. And uh, so hold on to your hats, Portland. Here we go! for another episode of U.S. Metal TV with the wild dog, Dr. Mastermind. Yeah, I've become a doctor. Good thing I've needed medical treatment for the last year and a half. So we'll be right back after this. So um, I went outside and, you know, shot some, like, interviews with some of the guys. And so uh, let's put it up there. You got that tape cued? Okay. Let's go. These are the now 30-year-old heavy metal guys, the young crowd. They had they really had a good thing going. And through all them, I met uh, Toxic Holocaust Joel and man, they've been touring, you know, toward the world and did co headlines with Exodus and, you know, big, big things. And uh, Eric Eisenhower played guitar with them and tell, hey, Eric, I'm sorry to hear about your hand. He has some sort of problem with his arm, makes it uh, difficult to play guitar. I hope that heals for you. And, uh, and Marco, congratulations on your 24th child born here in America. Yeah. That'll show him. And Adair, Adair Guzman, it was great. You, talk, you, you urged me to go to the hospital when I had a stroke. I appreciate that. 
and uh, I could keep going with uh, that kind of stuff. But let's go back to some more heavy metal from Portland. You want to start talking, or do you want me to ask you questions? Uh, what you want to know? Yeah, what you want to know? So, how long have you guys been together? Who are you, and how long have you been together? Cemetery Loves started in uh, 2009, in uh, yeah. March 2009, roughly. Let's get your name. Nasty Nate. I'm Andrew, do vocals. Disguster, 666, drums, and fucking ultimate desecration. <laughs> Rapist, bass. Crystal Seth, I eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Broke up or something, I don't fucking know. Fucking Raptor. Hey, fucking Raptor is ripping it up these days. <laughs> fucking Wild Dogs, whatever variation of the Wild Dogs are floating around. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Ace of Spades, uh, Demon Dogs. <laughs> Checks in the mail, bitch. <laughs> fucking A. So how long have you been playing? I played guitar when I was 12, and then uh, now I'm 27, playing bass for the last three years. So. You're the lead guitar player of uh, Cemetery Loves. How long have you been playing? Uh, since I was like 10. About the oh. same time I started jacking off. You got a badass over here. <laughs> yeah. His balls are sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Nine and you, you, how many bands are you in? I've seen you all over the place. Too many fucking bands. That's because you're the drummer, right? Yeah, fucking stupid drums. And you've got a van. You yeah. seem like a piece of meat. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, fucking necro drunk, cemetery last, motor thrown, fornicator. Worm food and compulsive slasher. I think I got them all. <laughs> Was you in a journey cover band too? How, how no. long have you been singing? Uh, I've been singing, I don't know, fucking maybe like five years or something. What other bands have you been in? Uh, only other thing, me and Ray used to fucking record some like old death metal shit. We never really had a name, but as far as like letting out my fucking sexual aggression goes, my whole fucking life, Cemetery of Lust is an extension of. You been in any other bands? Uh, not recently. What about that guitar you play? That was made by Pat DiMartino, local luthier. He plays in, uh, what's his name? Uh, Last uh, Empire. Last Empire. That's oh yeah, those guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him before. My old roommate Peter was in the band too. They're great, yeah. He used to be a White Lightning, right? Yeah. Brown Lightning. I think so. <laughs> they kind of fell apart though. Brown Lightning, I said. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> can't run, you can run, but you can't hide. Ray, are you shooting up? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nails. My heroin streams are low. <laughs> Gotta fill it in. <laughs> hey, Boozer. Show your titties. Your big titties. Yeah, that's right. You guys are headless pez, huh? Yeah. What, what's your name, Salvador? I'm Ryan Brown. Hi. Right. You? Balthazar. Felix. <laughs> the Rob Father. <laughs> this must be the knitting factory. Yeah. <laughs> this is where all our merchandise is made. <laughs> By hand. <laughs> all the headless pez uh, Afghan. Cheese string going on right now. <laughs> That is made in China in a factory fucking trial labor. <laughs> That's right, American made made. America. I always liked the name Headless Pez. That was just a clever name. And the guys 
These guys play guitar really great. They had another band. I can't remember the name, but their guitar players were amazing. And they played with my friend Raven, who, uh, by the way, Raven has another great new album after Metal City. And uh, I suggest you buy it. And I was in the dressing room where April was shooting a mentors documentary and interviewing Raven. And I heard during a sound check that these Headless Pez guys were playing. There were three guitars in the band. They were playing Ingve Mousy and Rising Force, the hard songs. And it sounded awesome. So uh, this is Headless Pez and... Uh, <laughs> I thought I was the only one that wore chaps in his sound. <laughs> that was 40 years ago. So we'll see you on the next go round.
you guys. A ring to it. Jake from Motor Throne. Nick from Motor Throne. Putting our stuff, getting ready to play. Yeah, it looks dangerous. So, how do you like the metal scene in Portland? Personally, I think it's one of the best. Yeah, I think the Northwest has got one of the best scenes in the country, honestly. A lot of good bands, a lot of diversity, a lot of uh, cool people. Not a lot of bullshit. Yep. Just people who like to rock out with their kind. You like old school, don't you? You've been mentioning bands that, that I mean, from the 80s. How old are you? 27. How about you? Uh, 29. I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, that's what's at. The old school bands are, you know, the old heavy metal bands. You know, when you think about some of the stuff coming out right now, I'd rather listen to Exciter, Razor. You know, just it's more gritty, more raw, more real. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Fucking Razor. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, put your yeah. stuff together. We're not done yet. Hold on. <laughs> I got another one I gotta put on. I'm fucking behind. What time is it? I don't know. 9:30. 9:25. Nine. Who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> supposed to go on though. <laughs> Do you make your own gear? Actually, we had uh, Nocturnal or Tom from Nocturnal make these for us. Nocturnal Tom from New Jersey now lives in Texas. Yep. Nocturnal with a K. One of, one of the better of the death thrash bands in the United States. On Turbo America. So I good, used to, good people too. Tom's I, a fucking if you haven't awesome heard them, check out the Nothing But Hatred album. It's I used awesome. to wear n nails. Have you have you made your dent on people yet? Good. Uh, I don't wear nails because I headbang too much. Therefore, I don't want to take nails to the eye. No, I'm, ta I'm talking about the fans. <laughs> oh, wow. um, we, we, they've, they've hit, they, we've had our microphones fall on them where we have a weaponry on it. They run into it. It's like yeah, our other band. We get that shit. We get people hurt more often. And what's your other band? Uh, Ceremonial Castings. Aren't you guys? You guys are going on a tour, right? Yep. Yeah, West Coast tour this fall. Is that with Destroyer Six Six Six? No. I saw, I saw that name on there. Oh no, the band that we're going with, Scorched Earth, just kind of has a similar sound to Destroyer Six Six. Oh, so I, I know those we guys did. from. They were leaving. Uh, Hammerhawk Studio when we got there Australia's in Amsterdam. Great band. One of my favorites. From Australia, right? Yep. Now, yep. now they're, I think they're in Belgium right now. Uh, Belgium or Germany, yeah, something they're like that. Over with your, anyways, they're good guys. And, uh, yeah, we got to play wonder. a couple dates with them in, what was last, last summer? Yep. Ceremonial. Yep. Played with Destroyer. Destroyer and the Throne a couple yep. dates. Really cool guys. Yep. And the Throne was great too. How long, has it been, how long have you guys been together, Motor Throne? 2000 and, uh, 2006? Is that right? 2004? I don't know really because it, the way the band formed was kind of weird. And then things, <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of weird. Like one day it just kind of started and it was weird. Then everything changed and now it's back to the side. Uh, well, I didn't better. come in until 2007. Yeah, it's better than ever now though. So, so you've been together around for like five years? Five, six years, something like that. Yeah. Just fucking still, still haven't recorded anything. We still yep. haven't released shirts, but we still... Uh, we got plans for both of those this winter, though. Yep. We've got albums coming out. A new, nice new full and... length. We just got a new logo, got a new album cover. Uh, we'll be making our own shirts, so... Hopefully this summer. Should be good. Or winter.
<laughs> I think a uh, fucking janitor's uh, union. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the AFT. <laughs> I work for school. I'm in the NWA. <laughs> <laughs> Norwegians with attitude? Yep, yep, yep. That's a PC term for it. This is perfect. <laughs> we can just pretend like this is our tour bus. Not that the background. Yeah, yeah. It gets us show to show. Uh, I mean, it's all right. You know? <laughs> so does, 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 this, small, does a bus break down very often? Oh, shit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we got to convert to run on Cheetah Blood a little while ago. <laughs> we're just we're like that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, we need to like game plan for this. <laughs> we're trying to... <coughs> you should film us doing a beer on it, Red Myers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this might be a little, uh, little, little more, uh, more fun if we get a case of beer. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah, we need a drink <laughs> before we do this. Go get drunk and go scam on some chicks. Your buddy's girlfriend that he's had for you know six years. This is the only girls really it shows. No, it's a good scene here though. It's oh, yeah, like, one hundred percent. I haven't seen this kind of like camaraderie for a while, yeah. if ever. Definitely. It reminds me of the punk scene, like in the. That's kind of where I came from, like in the late seventies, and there were everybody kind of supports the whole thing. Yeah, it used to not be like that. I think it's just because, like, people are getting so sick and tired of it, and just music that's there today doesn't really have anything really going on with it. And, I mean, it's just all about rock and roll, you know, even if you're punk or metalhead or whatever. I mean, like, as long as you just have that, you know, basis on rock and roll. For a long time, Portland was like, if it was trendy, other places? Uh, I remember when I was in high school, and literally, I, I was in a band back then, too, and... Whenever we'd play, it'd be like Hawthorne Theater, Satyricon, or something, and it would just be hardcore bands, the entire bill, then our band, and every, every t whenever we would play, it'd just be like, who the, what the hell are these guys playing? And it was just a bunch of sissy boys. Now, actually, lately, I haven't seen any of those bands. They all sort of seem to drop off the face, yep, of, the, off the face of Portland, I guess. <laughs> yeah. or, or when it was like grunge, it was like... Well, all grunge. You, you could weed out the yeah. trend hoppers really easily. There's a lot of bands who are hardcore, and then they, re, you know, they started realizing maybe like thrash metal, old school metal is getting popular, so they decided, oh, we're going to try and play that, and their fans obviously weren't having it. Yeah. So I, a lot of them quit that way. The rest, I just don't know what happened. Because I remember it left and right, it was just hardcore bands, really yeah. crap. Well, you know? I think, I think it's just because people are just realizing how, you know. How hard, much more play, <laughs> how, much how hard more it is to play a breakdown for five minutes, you know. People oh, okay. probably just be like, oh, I'm going to switch over to Sweet Parpeggios. It's so much easier than a, just a straight breakdown for five minutes. Well, <laughs> I feel like this move, music's also a lot more fun. Like, that music's just too serious sometimes, you know. You have a lot of message fun. behind it. It's ridiculous. It's tough to be angry all the time yeah, when you're having like, fun. Yeah, right? like, let's all be pissed off and fucking punch each other. It's like, mm. Yeah, I mean, you know. Unless you're really not angry. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you're, into, you are. if you're into metal for being a tough guy, I mean, that's clearly the wrong reasons to do that. Because you got, like, you know, Dio, who probably couldn't help anybody in a fight. Um, you know, Bruce Dickinson probably never really beat up anybody. Hey, while well, I got your attention, hi, Bob Stoutenberg, if you're out there. My website is usmetal.com, and I, I invite you to go check it out for anything if you're interested in the... Uh, Wild Dogs or Dr. Mastermind or any of the other 14 bands that I've made albums with. And uh, they're all up there. And uh, I, I ruined my one eye <laughs> making this. I, I remember holding my eye open to, to, to finish working because uh, I felt I needed to get it done. And I did because I couldn't see for about half of last year. So I'm hoping he'll stick around this time. But uh, thanks for watching. Here's some more stuff, and I won't be back. I'm going to go. So keep watching and keep banging your head. Old school style. The new, the, yeah, speaking of that, the new Metallica record is great. And when they were on Jimmy Kimmel all week, well, I was just envious of how healthy and how tight they were. And wow, man. This goes to show what happens when you don't do heroin, because Dave Mustaine is not in that same shape. So I'll leave you with that, and uh, see you later.
We all went to backstage, Maverick Court, and the clown. We're going to rock your asses off tonight, and then we're going to turn it back to you boys, and we're going to hit some, this song is called Domination.